can't have that. We gotta keep this beautiful tropical weather for ourselves. This is our beach sand. Good morning, modern steaders. You know what's got me excited today? No, it's not that winter's over. Man, we're just kinda in the middle of winter here in northern New Hampshire. I know. But it's so beautiful. But it's winter. But it's so beautiful. It's kind of the emotions that I get sometimes. It's so beautiful. It's winter. It's beautiful. It's winter. It's just some things you can't do. It gets cold, but it's beautiful. I enjoy the season, but. There's a new reason this year I'm excited and looking forward to this time of winter. It means it's getting to be maple syrup time. It's time to stop tapping our trees and making maple syrup. I've never done that before. So I'm excited this year. We have a few reasons I'm excited for it this year. We got the outdoor kitchen. So what better reason than to start doing some maple syrup than to use this beautiful place we were able to build. We're doing the pig harvesting class here, which is great. We learned a ton. We're gonna be doing another one in April. We needed a bigger stock pot so we can make our bunch of bone broth at once. and. We're going to be using this huge stock pot to boil our maple syrup in. It's a 23 gallon pot, so that's awesome. We got a big double jet propane burner, so that'll fit perfectly for the pot. And that's all stuff that we had here for canning and for pig harvesting. So we get to put our tools, supplies into more use and use them for more things and save us some more money. Maple syrup can be expensive. I understand why it's expensive. It's a long process. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of fuel that goes into it to making it. But I'm excited to making it because it's another reason to enjoy the season. And another big one, I've always wanted to make maple syrup. And I'm not going to lie, a lot of the times this time of the winter, I've had enough. This year is different. I know a big reason is... I've always wanted to do it, and I need to thank our friend Michelle. Michelle wrote a book, and she's in the process of getting it published. She asked me to do write a foreword for her on the book. So I got to read the book early, which was awesome. And the book was all about making maple syrup in your backyard. And it's an awesome book. It's going to be coming out shortly. Right now, she's giving away some ebooks on it. I'm going to put a link in the description down below for you to check out the ebooks and to check out the book. The book's awesome. It's got me pumped up. We're making maple syrup this year. Let me show you the process we've already done. So this fall, when I was done reading the book, it was right after the pig harvesting class we had, I said, man, I need to mark my trees. So I went around figuring out which trees were which, and which maple trees we had, and I marked them with ribbons. So now I know what trees we'll be tapping. One of the really nice things Michelle put in the book is, she tells you what kind of trees you can tap. It's not just maple trees. Maple trees are the most popular one because they have the highest sugar content. So if you don't have maple trees in your region, don't worry about it. There's plenty of trees for you to tap. So let's go for a walk and let's keep looking at all the maple trees we have here on our property. I should have got my snowshoes out. Pluto's under the uh, canoe. Pluto, what are you doing? What's under there, huh? Look at that nice sunrise. You can tap birch trees. We're not going to try that this year. Maybe that'll be a next year project. For this year, we marked our maple trees. I didn't get too concerned whether they're sugar maples or rock maples because they're all going to produce syrup. My biggest focus this year is just doing it. Just starting. We've never made maple syrup before. I don't know how good these trees are gonna produce. So I'm not gonna get too nitpicky on are they the right maple tree because they're all gonna do it. So we're just gonna do it this year, try it, learn from it, and next year we'll do better. Let's do all that crunchy snow. 
nice big snow bank. You coming? Come on. You're crazy. Go! We got another maple tree right here. I'm 90% sure I marked it. I think the ribbon I marked it with is under the snowbank. Maple tree here. Another maple tree here. Come on, Pluto. We have one here. This cracked. It's not a this year crack, but it has cracked. I hope that doesn't affect it. But they're not huge trees, but they're Decent sized trees. Another one over here. You coming, Pluto? Come on! Whew, my hands are getting cold. Oh, I left my gloves over here. It's like negative four out this morning. <laughs> that feels much better. Yes. You liking it? You like this weather. Crazy dog. All right, we got a few more trees. Let's go check them out. I'll come back to get you. We're gonna go in the pig pen, and Pluto won't come in the pig pen with me, which is a good thing. Good morning. Morning. We have a maple tree right here. We're using it for a corner of the pig pen. But we got quite a few out here. Come here, blow it out. Come on. Hey. Come on. Look at me. Come on. Crunchy snow, huh? Crunchy snow! Crunchy snow! Look at that beautiful sunrise. Man, ah, it's beautiful. So we got maple tree here. Ah, let's go this way. You lead, Pluto, you lead. Nope, can't follow you. Another maple over there. There's a few small ones in there. I don't think they're big enough for us to use this year. I don't think we're gonna need them, but if we get a lot of sap, I have IBC totes we can store the sap in. And then, right there, it's a good sized maple. Walk down here. We got some more clumps. One, two, three, four. I think there's five here. Some more over here. Come on, clear down. We gotta go back to the house. Let's go. And then where that root is, that's the end of our property. So there's a few more in there with smaller ones. I ordered 10 taps. Like I said, this year we're just trying it. If I can get a gallon or two of maple syrup, that might be pushing it. But if I can get a gallon or two, I'll be happy. That's really all my family's gonna go through. I'm sure I could go through more making bacon, but 
one or two gallons will be perfect for the first year. It'll be a good way to get our toes wet, see how we like it, experiment with it, and go on from there. Clear it out. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Let's go. I think she's getting cold feet. I don't blame her. Yep, cold feet, let's go. All right, she's getting cold feet. We'd put booties on her, but she won't keep them on. We've tried. She kicks them right off after we put them on. So, it's about that time. I gotta head off to work. Pluto's getting cold. One last thing I wanna say, maple water is getting pretty big and maple water is the sap from a maple tree. You can just drink the sap, or if you're making syrup, we're not gonna do it this year, but if you make a reverse osmosis machine, which that does, it takes out like 50% of the water and leaves behind the sugar content, getting a little frosty, you'll be able to save that water and drink it. And maple water is just as good, if not better for you, than coconut water. Shh, don't tell the tropical people that. They'll be moving here to Northern New Hampshire can't have that we got to keep this beautiful tropical weather for ourselves this is our beach sand ah that garden you can't even see the raised bed garden it's just buried it's buried in there somewhere you ready to go in and warm up I'm gonna go in the house Pluto's gonna go in and she's gonna sit by the fire and dry her feet. I know you, aren't you? Yeah, you are. I don't blame you. She's got some cold tootsies. I'm gonna go in, get ready for work. It's gonna be a good day. I hope you're all excited about maple syrup season. I know I am. I'm looking forward to this part of the year. It's gotta be excited, which is a good thing. I'm gonna go off to work. Now is a great time to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. While you're down there, ring the bell. That'll turn on notifications and fingers crossed. Maybe YouTube will send you a notification and let you know when we upload a new video, go live or post something to the community tab. If not, head on over to alumnaacres.com. There's a link in the description down below. Sign up for our newsletter. And remember, we upload a daily video every day at 6 a.m. We haven't missed one since last April. So, we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. You want to say bye? Say it. Say, just let me in the house. I want to go in there and melt all the snow off my feet. All right, let's go. Go. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the house. Get in the house. Come on. Let's go. Are you cold or what? Let's go. You're crazy. I think Figaro's waiting for you. I hear him. Where'd you go? Were you keeping an eye on us? Yeah, you were.